That dress is very becoming, Miss Edwina. Hi, I'm Sofia Coppola, and this is a breakdown of one of the dinner scenes in The Beguiled. This scene is a lot about the dynamics between the women in the scene and kind of the vying for the attention. It's the first dinner scene where Colin Farrell's character comes to dinner. It's the best meal I've had in a long time. One of the hardest things on this film were these dinner scenes. We had three of them, and coverage, I think, is the hardest part of directing a movie to me because it's like you, have, you make a list, and then you have to make sure you get all the parts, and they have to all fit together, and we had a chart of where the, where the camera is just to keep track of the, the coverage. Now you stop your giggling. <laughs> The opening scene, the cinematographer Philippe Lassord and I decided to go through the girls and then reveal that they have a new guest at dinner because the first scene in the movie with them at dinner is the women only. And so you see a difference from the scene of just the women alone and then when they have a guest there. This shot we're looking at right now, the coverage was between Colin and Kirsten. We had to shoot her view of him and his view of her. So the camera's not by Kirsten or Al. They're from McBurney's point of view. So you get the whole feeling of the scene is him watching them. And I think we see like this scene between Nicole and Kirsten, it's from Colin's point of view. If I wanted the scene to be between them, I would have the camera from Nicole looking at Kirsten and Kirsten looking at Nicole. But on this, we're watching them through his eyes in this scene. And also because the girls were underage, the students, some of them, you can't work as many hours as the adult actresses. So a lot of these scenes with the group, we'd have to shoot the shots of the younger girls first. It was important because then they would have to leave to go to school or leave for the day. A lot of times Elle would end up reading everyone else's dialogue off camera. So we would lose actresses while we were shooting the scenes. But hopefully you would never know. One of the things that interested me in the story was the uh, nonverbal communication between women. I really loved seeing Nicole convey so much with these little looks and her French phrases, you know, her humor and her slyness that she brings in a look, which happened a lot around the table. That dress is very becoming, Miss Edwina. Thank you. I wouldn't say it's entirely suitable for a young lady's school. Oh, and Elle always cracks me up. Her character is very self-absorbed and always trying to be attractive to Colin's character. So it was, it was fun because she presents herself in a very different way than it's not at all like her. I would suggest that we change the subject and that Mr. Weena draws her shawl. Yes. That will avoid any more speculation on the subject. When Nicole's character asks Kirsten to put her shawl on, Elle Fanning's character gives a look to Kirsten. And I also love the gesture when Nicole raises her hand to ask Kirsten to put her shawl on. And I think you get a lot of the kind of the hierarchy and the dynamics between the women. And then the competition under the surface, which it's not that under the surface in this scene. So the scene is all about how a group of women also changes when a, a man comes into the mix. When we were blocking the scene, I went with Philippe Lassard, the DP, to that room, the dining room. Room. We had stand-ins and we, we looked at where we wanted each actor to be before bringing the actors in to rehearse the scene. And I knew that I wanted Nicole's character as the headmistress to be at the head of the table and Edwina's character next to her. In the story, she's her kind of assistant, her head teacher, so she's always keeps her close. And they have a power dynamic between the two of them where Nicole's controlling of her. So we wanted to show that by Kirsten sitting next to her. We wanted Colin to be across the table as the guest that he was at the end with all the women around him. And really, a lot of the coverage could be from him to them as a group. And I wanted Elle across from Kirsten because there's a lot of rivalry. There might be other attractive shoulders here if we were all permitted to wear such dresses. Yeah, we were all, I mean, we were in the real dining room in this plantation house. And it was important that the lighting feel accurate to the time they didn't have electricity. So I think we were shooting during the day, but blacked out the room. And I remember my production designer, Ann Ross and Philippe, the sword, the cinematographer, did a lot of uh, camera tests of different candles, a lot of ca candle tests. So we, I think it was the double wick candle that ended up being in the scene. When you're thinking of each character, a lot of it is working with the art department and the photography and the costumes. You're always trying to convey what the feeling of the scene is and in subtle ways and they're you know, probably subconscious. And this is the first scene where they're in their formal attire. So we thought about how each character would approach that. Kirsten's character is usually very, um, buttoned up and tightly wound. And in this scene, she's wearing a more open top, which was, I guess, is a little scandalous at the time. And it's also fun to look at like etiquette books of that time about what was appropriate and wasn't. You weren't supposed to say thank you to a compliment because that meant you were inviting more compliments. You were not to wear makeup because that was vulgar because it looked like you were inviting um, men to look at you. And it was, you know, it was a very different 
time, and just Kirsten's little bit open dress was risque, but they talk about how she's from town. She's not from this area, which is a little more loose, I guess. So it also says something about her character that we learned that she's um, from a different area and maybe a little bit of a town girl. I wouldn't say it's entirely suitable for a young lady's school. But we know Miss Edwina is accustomed to town society with different views. Nicole's character is very religious, so she's also the kind of purveyor of manners. So she starts dinner always with a prayer, and we had a priest come and talk about um, kind of all the rituals around her religion, which I think is important to her character because she's torn between her religion and when a man comes in and stirring up those kind of feelings. So I wanted all this to be going on under the surface for these characters. For me, the, the fun part was to watch the actors, um, you know, in their roles when they would transform into their characters because we'd be, you know, all at lunch and they'd be themselves and then we'd come on set and they turned back into their 1860s characters and it was always fun to watch. We probably spent half a day on the scene, I think, maybe a day, because it's, as you, as you can see, it's a lot of camera angles, which just takes time. Thank you, ma'am. Merci beaucoup.